Yo, what is up guys, Ethan here, back in another video, and today we're going straight into the Miami Dolphins franchise. I'm not sure when the next Elks or Cincinnati video is, because I'm trying to upload as much Dolphins as I can, so I just wanted to remind you of that. Um, I'm going to be showing you the XP sliders on how I have them this year, my gameplay sliders, and my settings for all the games. Um... The gameplay sliders do get changed, but that's just later in the season. As I'm recording this right now, I literally played all of season one. And I, yeah, I know that sounds crazy. So I played all of season one and yeah. So right now we have, um, you have to simulate the playoffs and see who wins the Super Bowl. And then we have the off season. I didn't record that yet, so um, if you have any suggestions for any of that, leave it in the comment section below. Um, so these are the stat sl league sliders. Um, they eventually will get changed, and in all these things, I do make graphics, and hopefully you like them. I do put a lot of time into them, and yeah. So basically, it's pretty tough, but yeah, I do edit down the face mask because. Even with 35, there was still a lot of face max in the game. So, yeah. Um, now let's go to league settings right here. And I just wanted to um, get out of the way on that. I did miss the season. We do make trades in this season. And actually, um, a one of the subscribers or somebody commented a trade and I tried to do it. Here's our schedule. And as you see, we do play the Super Bowl teams twice versus the Patriots and then at Seattle. So that's going to be a look forward to. And um, yeah, so it's like our third season versus the Colts. Before we go into um, what I do for most of my series, look at the rosters. Here's the upgrades to our corners. Josh Jackson, Nick Nelson, and um, I forget the other guy. Preston Williams um I did automatically do the auto upgrades from one to three I did play week four preseason I didn't record it so these are the upgrades so looking at our roster our QB is rookie Luther Durant um I don't know why editing's equipment already shows his development it's a superstar but none of the other players did it so here's the stats for Luther Durant and he's gonna be our starting QB those are all his superstar abilities our running back situation is a, a flip-flop situation. We have rookie Terrence Talley. We didn't draft him, but we did trade for him after the draft for Devon Godshaw. And he looks like really good, super fast. And Kalen Balaj. Um, right now, Kalen Balaj is the starting running back, but Talley could do it if he does perform well. Our receiving core is actually not... They're not superstars, but we have a lot of depth. There's Devontae Parker. Here's Miko Harbin. He went off last season. He went from a 72 to an 80. And then in the preseason, he went to an 81. Our third string is Jakeem Grant. Super fast running. I was about to say running back because he's so fast. Super fast wide receiver. And then our um, fourth one is Antonio Callaway. He does have a better overall than Grant. But personally, I think Grant is going to be better for the slot or whatever. And just in case for emergencies, we have Preston Williams. Um, and we our first big um, pickup in free agency was Austin Hooper, tight end from the Falcons. He comes on down to Miami, and he's going to be our starting. Second pickup was Chris Jones. And then we did draft a D-tackle in Devon Derby. He has hidden development. He was technically the best player in the draft. Um... Our second out of three superstars in Eric Armstead. He did go up last year. And last year's rookie in Christian Wilkins. He is a 76 overall now. And our third big pickup was Kendall Fuller. One of the top corners in the league. And then we have superstar cornerback Xavier Howard. Who looks good. And our slot cornerback Josh Jackson. Who just went up to a 70 overall today. Our free safety is captain Bobby McCain, and I'm looking to trade him, and our strong safety is Doug Middleton. He does have star development after a pretty good year last year. Um, our left outside linebacker is Raekwon McGillen. He is also a captain. Pretty good. 
Then we have Jerome Baker, and I'm trying. This is my user, so I'm trying to upgrade this dude as much as I can. And an undrafted rookie in Keontae Washington looks like a beast. And for our wins, we're gonna go with seven. So hello and welcome here to Miami. As the first game of the season is here in Miami, as the New England Patriots are hosting. No, they're not hosting are visiting the Miami Dolphins. People say Tom Brady sucks in Miami, but we'll find out today. This Miami team is filled with rookies like Terrence Talley, the running back. Of course, the number one overall pick in Ter not Terrence Talley. Luther Durant, quarterback from Oklahoma State. And let's see if he can do good with multiple pickups of the offensive line. Let's see how it goes. New England starts off with the ball. And I'm just saying this out of the way. This is going to be a very exciting game to watch. So we will see the Miami defense for the first time in the first play of the season. Tom Brady's going to pass and he finds a wide open Brett Ellison for 18 yard gain. Not looking so good for Miami so far. Second and nine after that. James White goes up the middle and only gets a few yards. But our Main pickup in free agency, Chris Jones goes down with an injury, and that could be costly. Third and two, Jerome Baker hits sticks. James White fumbles the ball and is picked up by Rick Juan and McMillan. Miami gets to see their offense in really good territory. First play of the year is a no-gain rush by Kalen Balazs. Chris Jones has a shoulder tear, so he's going to miss a few weeks. Second and ten, Luther Durant out in the pocket, and that ain't good. His first career pass is an interception by Jason McCourty, one of the twins on the New England Patriots, so they get the ball right back. At the first play on that drive, James White gets a, I'm going to say, 15, 19-yard gain, I'm assuming. <laughs> So then after that, James White goes up the middle. What are you doing, Bobby McCain? And James White is gone. Touchdown, New England. Miami's not looking good so far after this. We go for a block and... Yeah, we don't block it. Yeah, I don't know why that was shown. But we are now losing 7-0. to zero. It's a third and 12 situation. Luther Durant decides to scramble. Oh no, we don't. Finds a wide open Miko Hardman, and he is off to the races. Touchdown, Miami. After an interception, finds Miko Hardman, who went had a fantastic season last year, and gets it. So Miami decides to go for a two point conversion, and we find a wide, and not wide open, but a great catch by our. Newly picked up Austin Hooper, and we're up in this game 8-7. to seven. It's a third and 14 for New England. Finds Rhett Ellison again. Great tackle by Doug Middleton, who we decided to re-sign. So, pretty good. Second and 10, Brady with the big pan. Oh my gosh. Xavier Howard, what are you doing? Tries to get the ball, it's not good, so Keelan Cole goes all the way down to the one-yard line. And Tom Brady finds a wide open. I think that's Keelan Cole, if I'm not mistaken. Um, It's not going to say a jersey. But all we know is New England's going to be up 14-8. After a good return, Luther Durant finds his way, and he is off to the races. Guys, a few blockers, jukes him, and he is down at the 11-yard line of 50 Six yard run by Luther Durant. I've pre recorded a few episodes, and this is going to be the most running by Luther Durant. We find Devontae Parker, and we are down at the three yard line. Next play wide open is Terrence Talley. His first career carry is a first career touchdown, and we're going to be up 15 to 14. 38 for New England, and interception by Xavier Howard. Gets destroyed on the last drive, but we find him open. And he gets a really good return. Jukes his defender out, and we are already down at the 30-yard line. Really good position for Miami, and a great interception by basically our best player on the team. Second and seven, Luther Durant tries to find him, and a beautiful catch right there by Miko Hardman. First and ten again, 
Luther Durant decides to scramble right here. And we didn't do our juke anything, even though we have Superstar. We are down at the three yard line. Luther Durant already has 69 rushing yards. First and goal, Luther Durant decides to keep it himself again and not even touched as we get into the end zone. And we're going to be up 22 14, if I'm correct. And yet, oh, we missed the PAT. So it's 21-24. James White, fantastic break tackle. And for the rest of the game, James White is just going to plan out destroy our defense, which is going to be our main pickup after this game. Next play, we they find a wide open Julian Edelman, and that's going to end the first quarter. After um, a few negative yards, um, a third and 16, wide open is Rhett Ellison once again, and they are down at the five-yard line. New, our defense is not looking good. And then with the next play, um, I forget, Devlin, the fullback, runs it in for a touchdown tie game, 21-21. Next play, Kalen Delage gets shut down, and now he has negative seven. So it's third and 15, Luther Durant. Oh, gets hit on the throw, and it's an interception. And the interception's by J.C. Jackson. I'm pretty sure that's J.C. Jackson. So, first and ten, Brady. It's a um, play-action pass. Finds a wide-open Keelan Cole. Burns the defender, and now New England is up again. 28-21. Miami, what are you going to do now? Kalen Balash trucks a defender, finds a hole, and he is off. And no one's going to be catching Kalen Balaj at this point. We tie up the ball game, and it's 28-28 after a huge run by Kalen Balaj. 75 yards to be exact. Do that dance or whatever, but let's see if you can do it for the rest of the game. Inaccurate pass right there by Tom Brady, which is really unusual as we... Get the ball back. We're at the, we are at our own one yard line and Luther decides to keep himself. Jukes a defender and he may be gone. Gets tripped up by Stefan Gilmore, one of the best corners in the league. If he wasn't there, it was a touchdown by Luther Durant. Next play, Miko Hardman. I, I clicked the wrong button. That would have been a touchdown, but we still get a big reception. After an incomplete pass, we find a wide open Mike Kosicki as we are down at the two yard line. So the next play, Luther Durant hands it. No, we don't. I don't know how we just juke that out, but Luther Durant runs it in. Jukes to the outside, breaks a tackle, and outruns the defensive lineman as we score a touchdown as we have 35 points. I don't know what I was doing right here. I decided to sim. I, I don't know why. And we get an interception by Josh Jackson. So, um, then we get a few passes after Hooper. And then it's a penalty against the defense. And then me, Cole Hardman, gets a catch. So, it's second and inches at the New England's eight-yard line. And Luther Durant could have dived. But at the one-yard line, we're good. So, 15 seconds left. And it's a sack by the New England defense. Bud Dupree. So we end up calling a timeout with a few seconds remaining. And we take the field goal as going in the halftime, we are up 38-28. Super high scoring game as you can tell by the title. So next first play of the half is a, um, I want to say 11 yard run by Kalen Balaj. And right there gets a sack, Mike, Michael Bennett with the sack. At this point, um, I decided to put Tally at the starting running back to see what he can do. It's a third and two, and we decided to throw it away. We are not going to try to get another sack, so we're going to end up giving it back to the Patriots. Brady's on his X-Factor, but White is gone. I don't know what I was doing right there with the safety. Kendall Fuller just gets burned by James White, and now it's a 38-35 ball game. We're still up, though. First and 10 Miami, we get Terrence Talley as he gets an 11-yard gain right there. And Talley, he's going to have a big second half. Third and five, not third and five, third and 10. A beautiful, finds a wide-open window, and Devontae Parker gets that reception. 
and this this is must be one of the best passes I've ever seen. Luther Durant on the run fits it right into Miko Hardman's hands. Touchdown Miami. Beautiful pass. We're up 45-35. On the next drive, James White gets a big rush right there as he already has 225 this game. We're trying to make sure that he doesn't get 300. Brady right there. What, but not, I have to say, we can't even tackle this man. Phenomenal catch by Keelan Cole right there as they score a touchdown. What is the Miami defense doing? How did you not stop him right there? So, first play of the next drive. Tally finds a wide open hole. And that is a 13-yard gain by Terrence Tally. So, I don't know. Is that supposed to be a gun or something? I don't know. So, the next play after that. We, what a catch by Austin Hooper. That almost, that would have been intercepted if he didn't catch that. And now we are in New England's territory. After um, a minus yard run and an incomplete pass, it's third and 11, and bam. Wise Jr., I don't know his first name, I'm sorry, gets a sack, and we're going to have to punt it to New England. So the next play, Brady in a play action pass. Finds a wide open, Brett Ellison, and he is not gone, but it's a great tackle by Keontae Washington, the undrafted rookie. So, first and ten in Miami territory. Um, tackle flush right there by Jerome Baker. Read that play really good. Phenomenal play. It's third and two, and what a catch by Rhett Ellison once again, and they are down at the one-yard line. That ends the third and go the first play of the fourth quarter. Jumps into the end zone as James White once again. Third rushing touchdown as he's destroying the defense. And now they're up 49-45. It's a third and 17. And Luther, they, that could have been an interception right there. Luckily it wasn't. It was swatted away. So we are forced to punt the ball. Next play. It's a pass, and it's a beautiful pass right to Julian Edelman, and they're already in our territory as our defense. We're getting turnovers, but besides that, it's been awful. Next play. Almost an interception right there by Bobby McCain, but it isn't, so it's a fourth and ten, so we get the ball back. So first and ten. Tally goes to the outside. Find some space. Juice the defender. That was Dante Hightower, by the way. But Tally gets hurt, and he's going to be out for a few weeks as that injury was a dislocated elbow. He did not come back into the game. Next play, it's a stiff arm by Kalen Balaj, and he goes down, and it's a really good run by Kalen Balaj. The, the next play after, we try to do um, an inverted veer, I'm pretty sure, and um, Luther Durant ends up going down second and 11. Next play. Finds on Mike Gesicki on a short route, a drag route, and he gets a 12-yard gain. No, 11-yard gain. My bad. Next play, Kalen Balaj on the outside. Finds some space. No one's going to get him, and he just... What? I tried the dive, but he ended up going down for a tackle, which we are going to score a touchdown with Kalen Balaj right here. So, fantasy owners, kind of happy with that. And we also wind down a little bit of clock. And, yeah... I don't know if that's a school bus they're driving, but I don't know. Next down, third and ten. It's another interception by Xavier Howard. And what a return right here by Xavier Howard. And what a return. It is a pick six. And right now, we are in fantastic position to end up winning this game. We are going to be up 59-49. Oh, wait. Our kicker misses the PAT. And we're only down by nine. So, Patriots get the ball back. And Brady, how much time are we going to allow him? Finds a wide open Julian Endelman. And look, what was our D-line doing right there? Next play, Tom Brady finds a wide open Keelan Cole. And they're in Miami territory once again. Brady almost has 500 yards on the game. After a good run by no other than James White. Um... Secondary, what are you doing? Our defense needs to get picked up as that was Jacoby Myers on the touchdown. 
Second and two, Kalen Balaj gets a good gain. As at this point, we're just trying to wind down the clock. And sec third and 11, beautiful broken tackle by Luther Durant right there. And that c keeps us having a first down. And right here, people in college said Luther Durant was clutch. What do I mean? Hurdles to defenders, jukes out the safety, and gets the touchdown. Like, that must be the best QB run I've ever seen in the NFL as we score a crazy 64 points. Hurdles over two players and jukes them out. We, those are his superstar abilities, by the way, kicking in. Oh, beautiful juke and the um, somersault in. And we look good. We missed the PAT once again, which we're going to have to fix. And great catch right there by, I can't tell, Brady, no huddle, 50 seconds remaining, Tom Brady's in the shotgun, we almost could have had a sack, and Brett Ellison doesn't even get touched as they go into the end zone, and now they only need a two point conversion to tie up this game. This is a crucial game for the Miami defense, and of course, no other than Brett Ellison to get that catch. Tie game, 64-64, and a great defense by S Stephon Gilmore right there, as Miko Hardman doesn't get it. I clicked the wrong play. We go with a fake punt, and it's incomplete. The worst call you can do in a situation like this. They're pretty far from a touchdown, but after this catch by Keelan Cole, it was game. New England is up 67-64. I don't know how. So we have one play with three seconds remaining. And Luther Durant just runs out. And it's a sack. New England wins this crazy game 67-64. In the highest scoring game in NFL history. Here's the stats. Kalen Balach had a really good game. Luther Durant actually led us in rushing yards. And I'm pretty sure he's going to win AFC Offense Player of the Week. Miko Hardman had two touchdowns, but besides that, we really didn't pass the ball to basically anybody else. 15 tackles for Doug Middleton, 10 for Jerome Baker, and almost everybody had a tackle. And besides, um, even the rookie Devon Derby. My bad. No sacks, three interceptions, one one for a pick six. And a forced fumble by Jerome Baker in the first quarter. So looking at the scores around the leagues. On Thursday Night Football, Seahawks beat the Rams 27-23. Um, Vikings obliterate the Lions at home. Texans win um, a division rival in Tennessee. Kansas City wins at home versus Jacksonville 24-13. Ravens shut out the Colts. Dallas destroys the Redskins. Buccaneers with an upset on the road versus the Bears. The Saints pull a close one off in the Superdome. 21-18 versus LA. Chargers. I mean, I'm an idiot. My bad. Panthers win by one versus the Niners. And same thing with the Jets. An odd score in Oakland, but Oakland gets the win. Cleveland with the upset versus the Eagles. Falcons on Sunday night go to Green Bay and upset the Packers. And then Monday night, Bengals destroy the Steelers and the Giants upset the Cardinals. Now let's look at the standings around the league. So looking at the standings in the AFC, the Jets are winning the division as of right now as they beat the Bills, but it's to technically tie versus the Patriots and us and the Bills lost our games. Texans are the only team to win in the AFC South, as everybody else lost. Basically, everybody won in the AFC North besides the Pittsburgh Steelers. And the Raiders and the Chiefs win in the AFC West, but the Chargers and the Broncos lose. And yeah. And now looking at the NFC standings, the Eagles, Cowboys, and Giants win their games, but the Redskins lose their game versus Dallas. For the NFC South, every single team won their game as Tampa Bay did upset the Bears and the Falcons went to Green Bay and upset them. For the NFC North and the NFC West, 
only one team won their game for the North, it was the Vikings, and the West, it was the Seahawks. So, so far this season, who do you think has the best, who do you think's going to make the playoffs as of this point? Um, so guys, um, I'm just gonna end it here, cause I forgot to record an ending, um, yeah, I'm sorry about that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, the graphics took me a while. And so hopefully you enjoy the graphics and etc. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, like, share, subscribe, and like always, have a good day. Peace out.